Good night, everyone. Today is Wednesday around 11 p.m. New York, New York, and we're gonna go with the daily technical video today, guys. Very simple. Nothing has changed really. The market's been very slow this this uh, for the whole week. Technically, the dollar has been in a pattern when it looks like it ended one cycle or is close to ending a cycle, and is within uh, a way for in another cycle. Technically is being like a, in around a hundred pip range and we believe that it's gonna break the range to the downside this is the count that we like on the dollar when you say a b c w s one two three four five a b one two three four and they lose like it's gonna go to around 79 seven, sorry 71 90 72 area before it bounce as always the when the bounce happens all you have to do guys is look the natural of the bounce if it's a three nothing that you can do that sell the dollar again if it's a five then we're gonna start worrying about buying the dollar that's all you that's how you should be doing guys no picking do not pick do not trade based on illusion trade based on the fact that the train is to the downside so this is the dollar we believe that it's gonna bounce if the correction is not over should test around 73.44 minimum before another rounds of selling within the US dollar, right? As an extension, you can go to 73.90. But where a stair, we believe that it's gonna, it's gonna go lower and the risk to call, I mean, the correction is in three ways so far. So looks like it's doing a flat. If we look right here, this is the dollar also. This is the low, it looks like, like it looks like one, I'm sorry, A, B, C, and then it looks like this is a flat that can be, it can be over by now because this looks like a five ways right here when you got one, two, three, four, five. So do not get surprised to see the dollar be sold later on today in London. But well, we need to wait and see, guys. But the trend is to the downside, it's telling the dollar this is corrected. No way that you can label this as, a, as, as an impulse from either low and this low is to marginal to code this and this drop is three ways so this is a flat i have no doubt in my mind that this is a flat right so let's move on to the individual pearls let's start with the with the dollar swings this pearl is driving me crazy is wagey after wagey of ending diagonal after ending diagonal but it's gonna get to the point that one day it's gonna end it so Hopefully, again, do not pick the bottom. Wait for five weeks and wait for the trend line to be broken, like he say right here. What we see is, let me let me hear. What we see is, we see A, B, C, one. This is one. This is two. Another A, B, C, three. A flat way four right here, and another A, B, C. This is a possible bottom. Now do not take long position of do you guys see the trend line take it to the outside or minimum to be more until you see 8672 taking to the outside because that's the previous high and what we're laboring for taking that level to the outside can confirm that this is a huge bottom right here right, guys guys it can be doing some type of nest but again the trend in this pair is to the downside is exhausted is is getting close to the end but nothing say that is bottom already now let's go to the cat the cat this is wave three and then it looks like it did a b c a a b c b and a flat it looks like it did a nest right here and when he did one two one two one two and now which we, we need three four five three four five and it looks like in my case looking for 96 50 area which is part of the previous four and that's why we're gonna be waiting for the market to sell it against this high right here because taking this high to the outside is possible creating a bounce and we even though this is a three-way we're gonna find a way an early way to find that this is the bottom all right but I like this set out to the downside so the trade is selling here against this high as a top. All right. Now let's move on to the other other pair, the the euro dollar. Everyone loves the euro dollar, and the euro dollar have a count 
that have so many counts and no a single one say that the top is in place. Now, we believe this, we present in this count today, which is one, two, three, four, five ones, two, and then one, two, three, let me say three, four, five, three, four, and ending wave three with the next high in equal legs. This count is suggesting that possible after a new high when this is an ending diagonal, on expanded ending diagonal, we should get a drop to this mess around 147.50 that should hold support and then boom, we probably can get an extended wave five that is gonna take it to 150.80 possible, 151 higher than 151.44 because if the flat is in place, most likely 151.44 is gonna be taken. So again, the trend is to the outside, nothing fair, until you see five clear ways and you see, let's say, in this case, you see it around 145, which is the end of one, and then you can say that a huge top is in place. Otherwise, the trend is to the outside, guys. I'm proving the dollar win next. This is the index. This is the dollar switch. The dollar switch, nothing that we can say, guys. I hate this pair already. We believe that this is A, this is B, when he did a, B, C, A, A, B, C, B in a flat, and then it did A, B, C, W, S, A, B, C, and we respect the law, we didn't guys stop out for about five picks, look the divergence that we have from here, it's a huge divergence here, this telling me that this pair is about to go higher, so you got your risk defined, go to sleep, if you are in London, drink and take a, a, a trick, a, a cup of tea and let the tray round because nothing that we can do to wait for the pair to find a solution to this mess because this is not an impulse this cannot be a nest they can be I mean even as a diagonal it cannot be a diagonal because this high invalidate the diagonal the only thing bullish that we can see right here is that this is a truncated way C but I see seven ways here so seven ways is corrective so technically speaking, this is a bullish structure that is about to explode to the upside. If you, if you are not in the market, take the long here against this low, you're going to be risking nothing and you can get a good trade down there that will be suffering for about two weeks already. Now, let's move on to the pound. The pound, you have two counts, but we see, we see it on the pound like it's one of the pairs that the top can be in place one second let me find the pound in the four hours right here for a second i wish i can organize this but i can't this signal do not allow me to organize this okay got it here Okay, the pound from the lows, from the lows, we see one, two, three, one, two. What happened is that we see three ways here. So this can be five if you force it right here, three, four, but this can be also the end of three and this being way four that is looking for the 618 or this decline or because from here all we see is three ways so far. So, the alternative count comes for this to be three, this four, and then instead of the diagonal being like that, the diagonal is going to be like this, and then we're going to get to around 168.80 in wave five. That's possible. Somebody asked me today on the seminar if I believe that the pound is topped. I say, until I see five wakes, there is no top in the pound. Now, if we go to the 60 minute chart, This is what we see so far, guys. Look, we see one, a flat two, and then we see one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Possible that we can get today another low, but still it's a three ways. This is a three way on the pound. I mean, it can be four, say, I don't know, right here, but it's a three ways on the pound. So technically, there is no top. It still can be the diagonal that like we say right here, wait for. 
So do not take short on the pound here, guys. Wait for wait for the straw to here that is draw right here when you see five, and then you sell your house on the pound right here. And the and this support right here, you should create resistance on the previous wave one support, which is also right here the high for wave three. So this area, but after you fit C5, not from this current levels, guys. Now let's see some gem pairs. Okay, before the gen, I'm sorry. Let's see the silver. We got multiple emails today talking about silver. Let me show you silver how we see in it. Okay, this is this is how this is what we see in silver so far guys it can be it can be a b c w s and we ending with a right now like it is right here a b and c somebody asked me uh if this can be a, a leading diagonal it goes a b c d and e or one two three four five whatever you want to label it anyway I believe that the that silver is about to bounce. We see it one, two, three, four, five. It can possible bounce. Let me see. From around 38, 26, when five equal one, that can be a possible bound. Now, don't worry if it's the diagonal, or if it's the top, or whatever. I'm gonna, why? All, only all you have to do is check the nature of the bounds. Because if the bounce, the magnitude of the count, of the candles, I'm sorry, there's more, it's most likely that around, let's say for 3820, around this area, which is the previous W right here, and the previous S, it's, it's most likely that the pounds is going to bounce. I'm sorry, the silver is going to drop again. Now, let me show you guys on silver the weekly chart. And I'm going to show you something that you guys need to take in consideration. Okay, right here. Let me raise this because this is a count. We believe that pound, I don't know why I keep saying pound, the silver is on the is in four in the four way. It's in wave four, right? And the reason why is, is this. Look. This is a high and the RSI on the weekly right here, you see. This is a wave three. It comes now right here, and then from here we just get the the, the highest high on the fifth wave. Technically, this is a three wave move. This cannot be a top. So this is a wave four that it should drop to when everything is say and done. Should drop to around 35.24 before returning higher. I know that in the daily it looks scary. Look at the candle right here, it dropped almost, I don't know, unbelievable, it dropped $10 today, but at least my RSI is telling me that it's not an emergency right here, so this cannot be a top. So that's what we believe is going to happen in, in silver, it's going to trade about 35 and it's going gonna, gonna to go higher. Now finally, let's go about the gen pairs, and then we're going to show you the, the dollar gen, which is okay right here the pound gens I think that the gen pairs all the gen pairs that are ending close to ends a wave 2 correction look five ways here three ways back and this is the pound gens it looks like it's ending one two three four five this is in a four hour chart it looks as clear as you can get already divergency in the four hour chart so possible it can get a little bit extended labels that you need to check right there I don't think that it's gonna get to the equal legs so it's testing the 61A or the, or the wave A that's a huge level that can get the bound so I think that the gens overall they're about to turn higher look that let me see if I, I have one more minute to see if I can check okay look the dollar gen is getting close to the 61A it goes A, B, C, and then you see getting close to the 618. Most of the pairs, are, I mean, they are working together because what happened that day. And then 
is getting close to the 618 I believe that around 80 we should get a bounce in this pair and that bounce we need to wait and see if it's in five we're gonna jump on a guy and we play that all the central bank gets together and makes us some money so guys have a good night everyone leave it there for tomorrow against we should see Jane Winnings we should see Dora Winnings and we should see silver and gold still correcting and wait for thank you everyone have a good night